What the heck is salmon. this? That's salmon. Ah, oh, you're gonna eat that? Well, I, I was gonna blend all this together for beautiful drink for the oh. us. What constitutes a genius? That is a question that's plagued me for quite some time. I went to an IB international school in Thailand for my high school education, and I was surrounded by a lot of peers that excelled in the maths, the sciences, whereas I, let's just say my grades were uh, below subpar. Something that my parents would often hear at parent-teacher conferences was, Arya, he has a lot of potential, but he's just not fulfilling it. I'm gonna meet with Dr. Dana Chittical, who is going to test me, and then I'm gonna see if over the next 30 days I can train myself and study enough to improve my scores, and maybe, just maybe, you'll be looking at a genius in 30 days. Thank you so much for meeting uh, with me, Dr. Chittical. It's my pleasure. I'm so, so glad that you're here. How would you define what a genius is? I don't think there's any one definition for it. So what we've talked about is let's look at the different kind of things that people do that you could potentially do better as a function of going through all the brain training. So we talked about memory. You could say, well, maybe a genius has great memory. We're gonna look and see what this does for your memory. I think we're gonna be looking at math. That's very important to me because math was one of my worst subjects. Was it really? Yes, well, I had many worst subjects. I'm totally open to the fact that you may get better at things and then I'll have to shift the way I think about it. How about this? Let's place a little, a, a wager, if Ooh. you will. Yes. Uh, what are we gonna bet? I recently procured uh, what they call the... <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I'm thinking uh, okay. whoever loses this bet ha has a little nibble of it. Just a little nibble. Yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> And 30 days from now, hopefully we see some marked improvement and then hopefully you'll be able to enjoy some delicious spicy chocolate. Oh, well, you know, I guess we'll see. So there are a lot of apps on the market that claim to improve your mental acuity, your memory, your math skills. I'm gonna go buy one or two of them and I will use them religiously over the course of the next 30 days. Hopefully it pays dividends. If not, I will have just wasted some money and a lot of my time. Elevate was selected as, by Apple as app of the year. I'll do one test. Remove unnecessary words. The history instructor discussed the Vikings' old customs. So you don't need... Old. I guess you don't need that. It's kind of fun, actually. Yeah, I just finished my first training session on Elevate. So, you know, it's fun visually, so it's actually pretty engaging. Kelly found these sort of brain supplements. You know, hopefully they don't kill me. Maybe this is the start of where I become like a super villain. The brain supplements have indeed arrived. And I'm just gonna take them, I guess, before I brush my teeth. We have NeuroPeak. Genius mushrooms. Oh, they, oh, that, that has a stink to it. Put three pills right now. Yeah, I don't know if these pills are actually having any effect. Maybe it's more of a gradual thing. It's crazy to think that there's a whole industry built upon the idea of Becoming a genius, becoming smarter. <sighs> Three down the hatch. Yeah. At the halfway point of this challenge, it actually might be beneficial for me to actually speak with someone that the world, or at least some accreditations, would deem a genius. And I actually found out that the guy, the actor that plays Luke Dumphy on the hit Emmy Award winning show Modern Family is actually a part of Mensa. Uh, he is what many would consider a genius. Well, thank you for coming. Oh, thanks for having me. Oh, <laughs> there we go. I think this is a new experiment that has never done, been done before. So either way, whether you succeed and are a genius or if you fail, we are going to learn some valuable information along the way. The brain food can make us smarter at least. Yeah, perfect. What the heck is this? That's salmon. Oh, you're gonna eat that? Well, I was gonna blend all this together for beautiful drink for the oh. us. Oh. <laughs> yeah, to make it clear, this is not research approved. <laughs> this is based on what we just Googled. Cheers. To two geniuses. Ah, oh my lord. <laughs> oh, uh-uh, I'm out. <laughs> Genius of 30 days. Sum it up, will it happen? Um, yeah, it's not gonna happen, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Follow your dreams, live up to your potential. And if your potential is a genius, then chase it, dude. I believe. I just, okay. We're gonna, we're, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do like an elbow thing. You smell a little fishy right now. <laughs>
is officially the final night for my test. Um, and so I'm just gonna cram and what they're doing with these pills. No idea if they're making any uh, improvement on my mental uh, acuity. I'm about to settle into bed and do my final, um, final elevate session. I mean, I could go to the test tomorrow and I could, I could knock it out of the park. That'd be great, but do I feel any different, you know? Thank you so much again for having me. It's been nice to see you. How have you been feeling? I can't say I feel smarter. I felt a lot of stress the past week, and I'm worried. Are you kind of anxious about the testing? Definitely. Like, it sort of all comes down to today, and so, and I have no, I genuinely have no idea how this is going to go. Okay, well, I guess we're going to find out. And I hate that uncertainty. Yeah. So here we go. I'm ready. All right. All right, so let's talk about what we found. Wouldn't it be great if everything made lots of sense? Yes. But it doesn't. <laughs> the tests of, you can think of them as working memory. You went from the 16th to the 37th percentile, which is not quite one standard deviation, one mm -hmm. piece of difference, but it's better. Interestingly, you actually did do better on the math. You've been practicing math. I bet you've been practicing your long division. Now let's look at language. 91st percentile to the 16th. I dropped from 90, 90. 91st percentile to the 16th, a, a substantial difference. That's almost two standard deviations. You know, these tests can be very seductive because, ooh, we've got numbers and percentiles. and But you have to think, what does this mean, right? What are you noticing in, in, in your real life? Are you disappointed? I thought I'd be more disappointed. Yeah? It makes me think about the value that we put on like these testings. But I think it's safe to say that I am not a genius in 30 days. Well, you, you, it's safe to say that whatever you did didn't make a huge positive difference in your ability to, you know, remember stuff and concentrate. That's unfortunate. Um, but we did make a promise. That's right, we had a bet. <laughs> you know, I think there's a lot more to the idea of a genius than what we typically think of. But I'll tell you this, any genius would not have eaten that. 